The wet ground makes it easy for Clyde to slide the spade of the shovel into the damp earth. It's been raining for most of the day, and even though it is only three in the afternoon, it feels like midnight. Do you think you could do this any slower? Mr. Creighton says. Standing off to the side, the trench-coated older man supervises the excavation from under a large umbrella. I, I'm sorry, sir. I've never done anything like, like this before, Clyde says. He pulls up a shovel full of slop and tosses it to the side, adding it to a small pile. Dug a hole, Clyde. I've seen you dig plenty of holes before. Now let's get this over with. I'd rather not have anyone asking any questions about this. Creighton is right. Clyde had dug holes before. All the time, actually. As head groundskeeper at the Creighton estate, it is his job. It's probably the reason Mr. Creighton brought him along, but Clyde wishes he hadn't. He would rather be any other place in the world. Of course, sir. Clyde picks up the pace, trying not to think about the fact that the hole he's digging isn't one in which a tree will be planted or a large boulder pulled out. Those holes are easy to dig. This hole is different. Under the dirt, six feet under, is a body. Clyde doesn't know what Creighton plans to do with the body, and he isn't planning on asking any time soon. This hole is different. Lightning splinters the sky, and the corresponding thunderclap causes Clyde to flinch between shovelfuls of mud. Creighton remains still, motionless, watching his groundskeeper. The pile of dirt and mud grows, and Clyde finds himself looking up at the grass above him. He tosses another shovelful of the slop up and back over his head, then thrusts the shovel down into the ground again. It stops penetrating less than an inch with a thunk of the metal against wood. Uh, I'm there, Mr. Creighton, Clyde calls up. Circumstances were unusual, but he is still a groundskeeper, so he scrapes the shovel back against the wood, the coffin, like he would any time he was digging to uncover something. 